Welcome back, I'm Tom Mastriani, this is Wine and Dominant Mastro, and today we're doing one of my favorite episodes. And you know my show is all about wine, so today we are cooking with wine. So we've got some great wines here tonight, and we've got some great wet recipes. All right, so let's, uh, let's get right into it. Uh, we're doing braised short ribs today, and we're gonna be putting them in with, uh, we're gonna be deglazing them with a really good wine. Let me show you how it's done. So, let's start with the ribs. We've got our pan, we want it nice and hot. Put a little oil in here. Right, we just want to coat the bottom nice and hot. Let's get that flame up nice and high. All right, we take our ribs. We just get them a little flour on each one. And we'll put them in there. Ah, perfect. We want to get them nice and brown. Then we're going to be deglazing them. While those are cooking, let's cut up the peppers. Get the straggler over here. We've got our peppers cut up. Let's uh, flip our ribs here. There we go. Oh, nice and brown. Really, really brown. So let those go. Let's chop up a little onion. Okay, so we've got our onions. We've got our peppers. We've got a little celery here we're going to add into the mix. That's already chopped. We're going to be using our brown sauce, and we've got red sauce, which is actually a Espanol sauce, using the brown and the red. So let's get these ribs a little bit braised, cooked a little bit more. Let's see how they go. Let's flip them over. I love ribs. Ribs are great. And these are nice, big beef ribs with a lot of beef on them. Not too fatty. I get everything from a butcher shop. I love it when it's, you know, you go in there, you socialize with the butcher. Hey, how you doing? I'm like, hey, good. Give me some nice ribs. No fat, no, and if you form a relationship with your butcher, he knows what you want. So, and he also, you know, he's your buddy now. So whenever you ask for certain meats, he's like, yeah, let me cut you up a nice piece of this. So that's what he'll do. Also, you want to form a nice relationship with your uh, wine store or liquor store. And then what you can do is whenever you walk in there, you mention a dish. Usually, if you're lucky, you find a nice wine store where the, the owners or the person who works there is partially a sommelier or knows a lot about wine. They definitely are working with it all day, so they should know what they're talking about. So they can always recommend a good wine with a dish. Say I'm having a party, I'm doing braised ribs, and they'll come over and recommend, well, I have a nice Chardonnay. So my recommendation in this is I've got a Iron Horse Chardonnay and I've got a Mark West Pinot that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be braising the ribs with the Mark West Pinot and we're gonna be drinking the Chardonnay and using that for a fish dish, which we're gonna make in a little bit. Hi, I'm Tom Mastriani with Wine and Dime with Mastro. For info on recipes, wines, spirits, and other products on my show, log on to www.mastrotv.com.